besides being one of the highest paid actresses on television. Jennifer Aniston is a powerful businesswoman who knows well how to invest her money. But have you ever stopped to wonder about how this celebrity lives? In this video you will find out everything about the luxurious life of Jennifer Aniston. Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Career Born in 1969 in the city of Los Angeles in the state of California, Jennifer Joanna Aniston is a great actress and businesswoman. Being the daughter of two actors, the young girl could not deny her artistic veins, and in 1987, at the age of 18, Aniston began her acting career. While this work in the theaters did not give her great financial returns yet, the young woman worked as a waitress. Her first television role was in the series Malloy and the movie Camp Cucamonga. However, the artist's journey was not easy, and she even considered giving up after failing to land relevant roles in the media. The change in Jennifer Aniston's life, however, came with the success of the sitcom Friends, as she played the protagonist Rachel Green. Her acting was so relevant to her career that she was nominated five times for an Emmy, managing to win one time. Also, she has won a Golden Globe and even entered the Guinness Book as the highest paid actress in television. In the film industry the blonde has played several roles, such as in Bruce Almighty, Marley and Me, He's Just Not That Into You, Love Happens, Just Go With It, among many other box office hits. With such success that Jennifer Aniston is able to achieve with her impeccable work, today the celebrity can enjoy a very comfortable life of luxuries. Mansion in Bel Air Jennifer Aniston is a very successful actress who has plenty of money to invest and decorate her various properties. After all, she is passionate about interior design. The property where the artist currently lives is in the famous Bel Air neighborhood, located on the west side of Los Angeles, California. The area is quite prime and exclusive, which attracts other celebrities and businessmen, such as Beyonce and Elon Musk. She purchased the 8,500-square-foot residence in 2011 and began making several changes to the architecture in order to incorporate more comfort and her own style to the decor. The environments, such as the living room, have many glass windows that allow natural light to enter, as well as offering some beautiful landscaping. The house has a total of four bedrooms and six bathrooms, with the master suite featuring a marble bath overlooking a garden. Speaking of gardens, the property is completely surrounded by green areas, which allows greater contact with nature and also greater privacy. The location of the land offers a privileged view of the city of Los Angeles. At the time of purchase, the actress paid for this mansion the impressive figure of $20,900,000. Ohana Mansion In 2006, Jennifer Aniston bought another mansion in Beverly Hills. The 10,000-square-foot, one-story home built in the 1970s was nicknamed by the actress as Ohana, as it was a haven for her family. Everything in the decor was extremely flawless, conveying the feeling of coziness and serenity. There is a strong presence of materials such as stones and wood, which gives the idea of rusticity to the environments. And in order to acquire this mansion, the actress had to pay $13,500,000. But after the works and changes in the design, she put the property on sale in 2011 for an incredible $42 million. We can see that Jennifer Aniston profited a lot of money with this property. Mansion with Brad Pitt When Jennifer Aniston was married to actor Brad Pitt, they lived together in a mansion in Beverly Hills, California, one of the most noble locations in the city, where several other celebrities live. The enormous residence sits on a three-acre lot, more than enough space to provide all the privacy that Hollywood celebrities love so much. This estate that once belonged to the couple was built in the 1930s, and to this day maintains all the similar architecture that was used at the time. The interior of the house is quite large, counting more than 12,000 square feet of floor space, being divided into five spacious bedrooms and 13 luxurious bathrooms. As reported in the press, it is known that the actors spent over three years renovating the property, only to ultimately only live there for two years. But this was no problem for Brad Pitt, 
as the actor is passionate about architecture and renovating his houses is a real hobby. And it is clear that all this investment in reforms brought a lot of results, since even though the property has been built a long while ago, it is super well preserved. The mansion is known to have several pleasant and sophisticated environments, including, for example, a tennis court for people to have fun in, a beautiful pool in the outdoor area with several loungers for relaxing, a children's playground for the kids to play on, a retro kitchen completely equipped with state-of-the-art equipment entirely covered with heated marble floors, a gourmet area with 200-year-old wood floors imported from France, several rooms with floor-to-ceiling windows that provide optimal natural lighting, a dining room with a table capable to host up to 20 guests, a stylish bar with a darker color palette being equipped with a projector that enables it to transform into a comfortable cinema, in addition to many other things that only exist in mansions of this category. But we can't forget the master suite, which is simply huge and super comfortable, being equipped with a fireplace and even a TV built into the ceiling that pops up in the room whenever you want. Not to mention the gigantic walk-in closet that's so big it's almost the size of a clothing store. Still on the same lot of the property, there is a beautiful two-story, fully furnished guest house that is surrounded by a huge glass that provides a beautiful view of the tennis court. And from what we can see, these renovations made by Jennifer Aniston managed to transform an almost one-century-old house into something super current and sophisticated, which probably cost a lot of money. And to get an idea of the price of this property, the former couple of actors bought the property for $13,100,000, but sold it in 2006 for about $22,500,000. Cars! If there's something Jennifer Aniston likes to spend her money on, it's vehicles. The artist has been spotted using several different models of cars, such as a $30,000 Toyota Prius, a $90,000 Audi A8, a more refined and comfortable sedan, a Range Rover Vogue, a luxury SUV that, depending on the year, can be worth around $110,000. In addition, Jennifer Aniston has already been spotted aboard a Bentley Continental. This vehicle with V8 engine and elegant design costs something around $220,000. But besides driving nice vehicles, the actress once gifted her ex, Justin Thoreau, with a $140,000 Porsche Panamera. <laughs> Luxury watches The Friends actress, Jennifer Aniston, is a powerful woman who always likes to be well-dressed. And to complement her look, she is always seen wearing branded watches. One of the models is the $4,000 Silver Cartier Roadster Silver, a classic accessory. Another watch the actress has been seen wearing is a $7,000 Rolex date just in the color salmon, a delicate and feminine item. She also has another of this same model for day-to-day -day use, a silver 36mm one, whose value is close to the previous one. Jennifer Aniston also owns a Rolex Milgauss, a very daring accessory for being all black and highlighted with a sapphire crystal rim that is very resistant to scratches. No wonder this watch costs about $15,000. One of the most expensive watches in the actress collection is a Rolex Day Date made of 18 karat gold, a very prestigious accessory with a timeless design that costs around $33,500. We can say that Jennifer Aniston really knows her watches. Relationships Jennifer Aniston is a very attractive celebrity for the eyes of several Hollywood hotties. After all, she has been involved in relationships with several artists. In the 1990s, she had a brief romance with Charlie Schlatter. The actress' first serious fling, on the other hand, was with the now-deceased Daniel McDonald, with whom Jennifer spent five years together. She also once had a brief affair with Adam Duritz in 1995. While starring in the sitcom Friends, Aniston met her recording partner Tate Donovan, whom she dated for about two years. Perhaps the most famous relationship of the artist was with Brad Pitt. They made their relationship public in 1999, and the following year they got married. They even made plans to have children, but the marriage soon ended in 2005. While acting in the movie The Breakup, Jennifer Aniston and Vince Vaughn started a romance in 2006, which lasted only one year. After that she dated John Mayer, however in 2010 they broke up rather painfully. Another long-distance relationship of the actress was with actor Justin Thoreau. They even got married secretly in 2015, but after three years, the couple divorced. 
As early as late 2021, rumors began circulating that Jennifer Aniston would be dating fellow friend star David Schwimmer. The actress has no children and has admitted that she had to seek therapy to overcome the pressure she felt from society on this issue. Business Those who think Jennifer Aniston makes money by acting alone are very much mistaken. She also invests in films, having even founded in 2001, alongside her ex, Brad Pitt, her old film production company, Plan B Entertainment. However, after the divorce she left the production company. Since 2008, Aniston has worked behind the scenes at her current production company Echo Films, which has produced films such as The Switch, Cake and Dumplin'. In addition, she became co-owner of the hair product brand, Living Proof, in 2012 until the multinational Unilever decided to buy the actress shares in the company, but it has not been disclosed how much she cashed in from this deal. But it's certainly a lot of money. However, when it comes to advertising, Jennifer is one of the most sought-after celebrities in the world to promote brand campaigns. Over the years, she has made a fortune endorsing brands such as Smart Water, Emirates, I Love, Aveino, among many others. Some sources claim that Jennifer earns about $10 million a year just from the advertising contracts of these companies. In addition, the celebrity has also released several fragrances that bear her name. Net Worth Jennifer Aniston was once considered the highest paid actress on television, which is why she has already achieved a huge net worth. Her fame came mainly with her work on the sitcom Friends, which became one of the most watched shows in the world. In the first season, Aniston was paid around $22,500 for each episode recorded. However, with the rising success of the sitcom, her pay also increased over time. In the second season, she went on to receive $40,000 per episode, in the third season she received $75,000, in the fourth season she received $85,000, in the fifth season $100,000, in the sixth season $125,000, and in the seventh and eighth season an impressive $750,000 for each episode. But the actress' salary didn't stop there. In the ninth and tenth season of Friends, Aniston even got to receive $1 million per episode. In total, the actors made about $90 million from the sitcom alone. But even with the end of recordings, the cast members continued to receive royalties from the reproduction of Friends on streaming platforms like HBO Max. In total, the series makes $1 billion per year, and each actor receives up to $20 million a year from royalties. That's not counting Friends, The Reunion, a special season that started in 2020, in which Aniston's per-episode fee is estimated at $2,500,000. Apart from this comedy series that boosted the actress' career, she has appeared in several blockbuster films. With the film Just Go With It, for example, it is speculated that the artist alone earned $10 million. As early as 2020, she returned to TV in the Apple TV series, The Morning Show, which pays Jennifer Aniston about $1,250,000 per episode. Taking into account all the earnings of this artist and businesswoman, Jennifer Aniston's net worth is estimated at $300 million. This celebrity sure is rich. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.